Hashtag love, hashtag life, hashtag goals. We've all used these hashtags over a period of time on Facebook, on Instagram and other platforms as well. But have you ever given a thought to how these platforms actually use the hashtags that you've put in in your posts to further increase the reach of your posts? What is the algorithm that goes behind making these hashtags work on various platforms? If you have thought about this particular thing, then keep on watching because I will be taking you guys through the entire process of understanding how hashtags work in social media. So without further ado, let's get started. This video contains answers to the following questions. What is a hashtag and how do you use it? Placement of the hashtags, whether it should be the body copy or given in the comments. Next, importance of using a hashtag. Then, how do you choose the perfect industry specific hashtag? How to use hashtags on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Let's get into understanding each of them now. What is a hashtag and how do you use it? Did you know the symbol of a hashtag came way back from the 14th century? Yes, it's that old. But the name hashtag came into the picture only after its consistent use over the social media platforms. What happened is that people started using hashtags way back in 2007 on Twitter to put their posts as a part of a specific group of people looking out for that content. So say for example, I was putting up content on a specific occasion, say World Water Day or something like that. Then I wanted to put that hashtag for it to reach those set of specific audiences looking for that kind of content. And from Twitter, it eventually involved into other platforms making the use of the same content as well. So even today, you and me will end up using hashtags because you want people to get the right message from your content. So if this particular video is made on hashtags, one of my hashtags in the description would be hashtag hashtag, right? Because I need my video to appear whenever anyone is searching for a hashtag or hashtags. Placement of the hashtag, body copy or comments. Now most of us are already aware of the importance of using a hashtag. It's basically used so that your post reaches the right set of audiences and it further widens your reach. But one of the major questions that confuses a lot of us is that whether we should use hashtags in the body copy of the post or should we put them down in the comments? Which one will give us more reach? Well, that depends on various platforms and the platform you're referring to. But more often than not, through research and study, it's been proven that when you use your hashtag in your body copy, it tends to work better for you. In general, one of the rules that we need to keep in mind is that if your body copy looks very cluttered, the person or the consumer who's reading your content can get a little confused. So in a situation like that, it's always better to have some space after your body copy and then put in the hashtag so that they work with the algorithm and also don't make your post look very cluttered. Importance of using a hashtag. Hashtags are extremely important. And here are a few reasons to substantiate that claim. It simplifies the process. The internet is extremely competitive. And so is the content available on various social media platforms. So if today I were to post something and wanted to reach a set number of people, how do I exactly go about it? I will have to ensure that I put in a hashtag just so that everyone or rather every person who is interested in that particular part is getting exposed to my content. Let's take an example. If I were putting up some content on say marathons, I will ensure that my hashtag includes hashtag marathon. Why? Because those people looking out for content revolving around that space will then get the exposure to my content. 
it's in a way simplifying my process of searching for something that I'm interested in and being available when people are searching for something I have created. It makes you want to check out more stuff. Like I mentioned earlier, if I'm looking for content on marathons and I just type in the search bar of say Instagram, hashtag marathons. Now, when I do that, there's not just one post that pops up. There are multiple posts which come up and I get a lot of things to look for. So I may be interested in a specific kind of content under the hashtag marathon. I might be exposed to a lot more things and I might be interested in exploring other content as well. It segregates the data. Even though you want it, it may not always be the case that your content is very easy to understand. So by including a hashtag, you are actually making things simpler, simpler or rather easily understandable with respect to your audiences. How do you choose the perfect industry specific hashtag? Now your hashtags can be either generic or they can be specific. Then the question arises, which one should I actually use to widen my reach? Now, the way it works is that in an ideal scenario, it's always better to use a combination of both, generic as well as specific. You can also come up with your own hashtags, which will be something very specific to your communication. You can see the audience's reaction to it. Are they supporting it by commenting on it further and using, their, using the same hashtag for their own personal communication? If that's working well, there are a lot of brands who have been successful in creating something known as viral hashtags. Right? So over a period of time, those hashtags can work. But on the flip side, if those hashtags don't work for you, you know for a fact that the, this hashtag is something that's not working for me and I can possibly let go of it in my next communication. Either way, it works really well to come up with your own thing. You can either learn from it or you have something which goes viral instantly. How to use hashtags on Instagram? So Instagram as a platform allows you to keep a maximum of 30 hashtags on your post. So you can have a body copy which is considerably long, but you cannot have more than 30 hashtags on Instagram. But before posting your content on Instagram, it's very important to find out whether you have a relevant keyword associated with it. Is the keyword searched uh, in good amount or good, um, you know, it's, it's searched often by consumers so that if you're putting in a content, you know that there are some people who are going to look at it, who are going to react to it, will probably share your content and you'll get the traction that you require. But it's important to note that not every trending hashtag will work in your favor because a trending hashtag may have absolutely no relation to what your content is. And then including that with your post may not really serve your purpose because it will reach an overall or a generic set of target audience, which is possibly not something what you're looking out for. A pro tip to add when it comes to Instagram is that it's known that if you include a total of 11 hashtags on your Instagram post, it tends to get maximum traction. How to use hashtags on Facebook? Now, if I were to compare Facebook to Instagram, it's a given fact that hashtags are more popular or have worked really well when it comes to Instagram as against Facebook. But even Facebook usage of hashtags work in your favor as a brand. But there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind when it comes to using hashtags on Facebook. Let's look at each of them. Do not use too many of them. Now, this is something that I truly believe in and I've seen a lot of brands going wrong in their communication strategy because of this one mistake that they end up making. That mistake is using the same creators for Instagram as well as Facebook. This does not work in your favor, guys. Not at all. Why? Look at the way these two apps function. When you look at an Instagram, you have the picture and then you have the body copy. Correct? But when it comes to Facebook, you have the content first and then the picture. So when you're posting content on each of these platforms, this is a crucial information that you must keep in mind. On Instagram, if your image 
is not attention worthy your consumer or the person who is scrolling through the content will not waste time reading the caption associated with the image whereas on facebook if the content is not that appealing he may not want he or she may not want to scroll down further to see what the content or what the image is about okay so you need to ensure that the hashtags that you are using on each of these platforms are also specific to the way the app functions and the way the app is used by your consumer ensure that your post is public next is a simple thing guys but i've seen so many people goof up with this if you're putting up a picture out there and if you're adding a hashtag you're clearly intending to widen your reach but on facebook if you do not make your post public it is not going to make any difference whether you add an hashtag or not you do not want to add an hashtag only because it reaches your friends or the people who know or your friends of friends you want the hashtag to go viral to such an extent that your post is seen by the world in general so ensure that your post is also made public while you're posting it how to use hashtags on twitter this is a platform from which the original hashtags or the concept of hashtags was originated so clearly using hashtags on twitter is extremely important as an add on twitter also provides you a list of trending hashtags which gives you a basic idea about what's currently trending what are people more interested in talking about and then you can possibly devise your communication around that but keeping these things in mind also you need to have certain points while uh, using a hashtag on twitter let's look at these points use your hashtags for trending conversations now tweeting about events or conferences in which your brand plays a major role tends to give you a maximum uh, widening of reach now how that happens is that because you are contributing to a specific event which could possibly already have a trending hashtag around it your brand is then a part of something like that this more so happens in the case of uh, say world laughter day or something like that where a brand is celebrating a particular day and you see a lot of brands uh, working up communication around that specific time that is when your trending hashtags are going to help you the most use it around holidays and festivals the best example that i can think of when it comes to this particular point is that of diwali now you see a lot of brands almost all the brands celebrating diwali because it's such a huge festival out here in india that you want to talk about diwali in some way or the other so around that time whenever a brand is communicating on twitter one of the hashtags that they do not let go of is hashtag #diwali because that particular hashtag will be used by brands across and they want to be available they want to be seen whenever a person is looking at any content related to hashtag #diwali use it to support causes now if your brand believes in something very strongly a cause that it wants to support a cause that it believes in then twitter is a perfect platform to put that across to your consumers Now remember when i'm saying this i am not trying to tell you guys to you know use it in a negative way that even if you're not looking out for a cause or something like that still talk about it no that's not where i'm getting at what i'm trying to say is that you need to be able to talk about the goodwill that your brand can generate through twitter so if you've helped a particular cause or a brand which is in sync with what the audiences need if you know what your audience need and if you are present in that particular area be vocal about it twitter is the perfect platform to get close to your consumers just so that you can develop a stronger relationship to conclude hashtags is a great way to ensure that you get the perfect coverage that's required for the content that you put out in the market but having mentioned these specific points to specific social media platforms you must keep these in mind while coming up with the content that goes out with your images on these social media platforms so that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and learned something out of it if you did please put it down in the comments below as feedback or as appreciation and we love to hear what you think about this particular video like share and subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell notification icon so that you get notified the next time something around social media marketing is posted on the channel 
until next time bye bye